my year of being the uh, Miss America of homebrew uh, has, uh, you know, come to an end. It's been awesome, but now it's time to, you know, pass the torch. <laughs> well, pretty much like I uh, told Kelsey last year, strap on your seatbelt. It's going to be a whirlwind fun. I had one marriage proposal. <laughs> some cal said, you know, if my husband dies, I want to marry you and have some of that Aloha Plenty. <laughs> We entered the competition just to get some feedback, did not have any expectations at all. As the competition went along, it kind of got a little feeling in the back of my head, but I still was kind of like, you know, there's no way, there's no way we're going to win. Without any further ado, the number one beer was beer number 19, Cherry Chocolate Stout, Jason Fields. I wasn't planning on winning. That was my expectation. The fact that we did win was kind of like just, it's just kind of surreal. But there were a lot of really good beers, and you know, it's just more a question of number one, is it a really creative beer, and, and number two, of course, is it really good? And this beer fit the bill. I've been home brewing for about three to four years now. Everything was kind of last minute. We wanted to get feedback on the beer, and that was our main goal to enter. Right before the whole thing ended, I was going to the, um, they had like a counter set up where they're giving out beer service, and ours was number 19. And I remember I went up there and it was all gone. It was actually the first one gone. The third collaborator on this one was tough. We want to pick somebody who's a really skillful brewer, and in some cases, someone who may have had some experience with what we're trying to brew. Why was I brought into this collaboration? That's a very good question. Um, I guess I don't have any idea. I take that back. We do a holiday beer called Mad Elf that uses ridiculous amount of cherries, so we're pretty familiar with cherries. We've done a lot of brews with chocolate, so I'm assuming that's why we were thrown into the mix. Actually, Mitch Steele of Stone recommended Trogues. You know, he was like, no, they make phenomenal beer, and I think they'll be a great addition to help us, because they make like three different kinds of stouts. It's been really cool working with them, too. So, they have a lot of experience with chocolate and cherries and stuff, so it worked out good. It was definitely a good fit. We pretty much brewed it as is. Uh, the one change that we made is we changed the, the cocoa source. Jason and Kevin, they used Ghirardelli cocoa powder, and we we had some uh, uh, cacao liquor. The louder's going rough. We added chocolate to the mash, and I don't know if that was the problem or if it's because of all the specialty malts in this beer, but the beer's not loudering or straining off the grain very well. We'll get it through. You know, our brewers know how to do this. The cherries that they used in the homebrew batch apparently didn't ferment very much. And when we use cherries, it explodes. We literally have to be careful not to blow the top off the tank. We found that one out the hard way when we walked in the next day and there's beer all over the ground and we lost 30 barrels of beer. We added a little tart cherry instead of just dark red. We've got a mix of cherries going in. Five pounds of cherries per gallon of beer. I think we got 9,000 pounds of cherries. Yeah, they're all over in the warehouse. Uh, yeah, it's a lot. And of course, I'm not going to be here when we have those, so uh, <laughs> have fun with that, guys. Putting the cherries in later in the fermenter, when it was like you're doing each cherry by yourself, and like, you know, it's, it becomes a, a mess. Seeing how much the recipe has blown up to, to brew it on this system, it's amazing the amount of grain and the chocolate and stuff that we added. It's just, it's just so cool. They have giant separate tanks literally for every process of making it and we don't have that in home brewing. Everybody is very cool. It's been, been awesome to work with, with everybody here so it's been cool. Collaboration beers I think are a really big part of describing what our industry is. Exactly like home brewing. You sit down, you have an idea, you invite your friends over and you brew it. There's not a lot of other industries that I've ever heard of that would do such a thing. It says a lot about what we do. I think this opportunity is probably it's once in a lifetime. It's like one of the greatest things ever. So um, I'd like to thank everybody. Cheers. We'll see you in a couple of months with a wonderful beer. Cheers. Anything else you want to say on camera? Um, I really hope people on Beer Advocate and Rate Beer like our beer. Um, <laughs>